Good morning and God bless you. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is a special Sunday. Today is All Saints Sunday. And we honor and we recognize those saints who have gone before us. They are in heaven. They are ever present with the Lord. We give thanks and praise. That is our theme this month, thanksgiving and praise. Let us give thanks and praise to the Lord this morning. Please enjoy this worship service. God bless you.
for our call to worship. Come, come praise the eternal God. Let all that is within us, body, emotion, and mind, and will, praise God's holy name. Come, come praise the eternal God. Sing songs with a grateful heart, and remember all that he has done for us. Amen. Good morning. This is News of the Parish, brought to you from Grace United Methodist Church, part of the Box Springs Cooperative Parish. The drive through communion is this Sunday, today, both at Grace and Moreno Valley from 10 to 11 a.m. We continue with online worship through the month of November. We are still waiting for the approval of our outdoor worship service plans. We will be providing Thanksgiving baskets for families in need. Please contact the pastoral team if you know of any families in need. No Thanksgiving meal will be prepared in person. Charge Conference is next Sunday. Zoom invitations will be sent out. Please wear your favorite hat and bring something you consider to be your most Methodist item. Please pray for our fire, firefighters and all the families being affected by wildfires. And finally, please vote and pray for the presidential election. Thank you. to join in this word of prayer. Heavenly Father, blessed be your name. There's so much to be thankful for, so much to praise you for. Thank you for another day, for, for life, for, for breath, for, for a home and for food on the table. Praise you for your glory. Praise you for your light and your goodness. We thank you. Father, um, even though we might be going through a difficult circumstance and situations, we might be worried and, and anxious about tomorrow. Father, bring a sense of calm 
and peace into our hearts right now. May this uh, time of worship be healing. May this time of worship be just nurturing for our souls and our spirits. We pray for those battling the wildfires. Give them strength. We pray for those who uh, have voted or maybe getting ready to vote. Give us wisdom and clarity in our decision. Father, bless. Bless us so that we may be a blessing to others. Together we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. a good day. Since Thanksgiving's later this month, we're talking about praise and thanksgiving all month at church. Do you like it when people thank you when you give them something or do something for them? Um, we loaned something to a friend of ours recently and she wrote a really nice thank you note and we really appreciated that. I bet your mom and dad remind you sometimes to say thank you, don't they? You know when someone gives you something or does something for you, and your mom says, what do you say? Thank you. You probably already knew that, but just needed a little reminder. There's a story in the Bible about some people who forgot to say thank you. Jesus was walking through this village and there were 10 lepers. Do you know what a leper is? It's not the big cat with spots, that's a leopard. A leper was somebody that had leprosy which was a terrible disease back in Jesus' time. Modern medicine has almost wiped it out. But back then, if you got leprosy, you had to leave your family and go live in a place with just other lepers. So it was, it was much worse than the social distancing we're having to do now. So anyway, the 10 lepers saw Jesus and they knew who he was. They knew he'd been healing people. And they stayed far away, but they called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus turned around and saw them and realized they had leprosy. He said, go and show yourselves to the priests. The reason he said that was, if you did recover from leprosy, you had to go to the priests so that they could check and make sure you were okay before you could go back to your family. So they're on their way to see the priest and they looked down and they realized all those awful sores were gone. And they were so happy. Well, nine of them kept going to see the priests. One of them went back to Jesus and said, praise God, thank you for healing me, Jesus. And Jesus looked at his disciples and said, weren't there 10 of the lepers? Where's, where are the other nine? They forgot to say thank you to God for healing them. And it's easy for us to do that too. We have a lot of things to be thankful for. We have our families, the other people in our lives, all the other blessings that God has given us. We have a beautiful world to live in. We have Jesus who can heal us from our sins the way he healed those lepers from their disease. So especially this month, all the time, but especially this month, Please remember to thank God for all that he's done for you and to thank the people in your lives for what they did for you too. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you give us everything we need, but we often forget to say thank you. We thank you now 
and ask you to help us to remember to give thanks every day for all that you do for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this time of our service this morning, we want to honor and remember those who have gone before us. They have completed their cause and they had lived a good life. But today we praise God for their legacy and their ministry. It is a privilege for us to represent all of the family members to honor them and give thanks to God for their life and their ministry. Today we remember our grandparents and parents, aunts and uncles, those who have gone before us in our lifetime. Family, Family of our faith. faith. We, we remember, remember you. you. We lift up the memory of children and grandchildren, brothers and sisters, husbands and wives and parents whose lives ended too soon. Those, Those close, close in our heart, heart we, we remember, remember you. you. We lift up to you, O oh God, the names of those we have lost in this past year from our lives, knowing that they are with your heart forever. As we read these names, we will pause after every name to remember, pray, and give thanks for their life. Mike Aboski. Jim Feliciano. Ralph Hogan. Boston Ann Jachanga Millie Phillips Peter Swart. We celebrate the lives of those we have named, O oh God, and lift up many more names in our hearts. Family of God, we remember you. We honor you. We know you are with us in the spirit of worship and you will not be forgotten. We give thanks, O oh God, for all who have gone on to join with you beyond this life. We trust in the hope of resurrection and the promise of new life in Christ, and know that in our grief and celebration, O oh God, you are with us through it all, and we are not left alone. In the name of Christ, in whom love lives forever, we pray.
morning. Today's scripture is from Psalms, chapter 103, verses 1 through 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Good morning, church. I want to welcome you again this morning to our online service. And especially this uh, Sunday, we celebrate and honor the life of all our saints this morning. May the grace and the love and the peace of God bless you all as we continue to love God and to love others as we love ourselves. The month of November, we choose to focus and celebrate our theme, praising God and give thanks to God for his everlasting love. With a delightful heart uh, this morning, uh, with joy and gladness, we come together and join the Psalms this morning and shout out loud from the deep of our heart and sing, Praise the Lord, O my soul. All my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Who forgive all our sins and heal all our diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfy your desires with good things, so that your, your youth is renewed like the eagles. Can I have an amen? Amen, because many of us are still overwhelmed with this week, again with the victory and the wand that thought had brought a smile and happiness to all of us. They have completed and they have accomplished a milestone in the baseball history. So we can all shout that this morning, go, daughter, go, go. While we still enjoy the Lakers' wind, of course, bring great joy to all of us. A happiness that is worth praising at all times. Few weeks from now, we will come together as a nation to celebrate the Thanksgiving. But it is the same that uh, for me that we only take one day set aside all these 365 days as a nation to thank God. We should be able to set times each day, each week, each month to give our praise to God who has blessed and graciously us with so richly. And during these challenging times of lockdown, the question I want to ask all of us this morning, have you able to take a moment each day? Have you able to set at times each day to praise God, to thank God for His everlasting love and, and the blessing that we share. Have we able to take a moment each day to count our blessing or not? Part of the Psalms today, Psalm 103 is also known as Hallelujah Chorus, David Hallelujah Chorus. But David sang these songs every day, start out his day with praising God. He praised God with great conviction, knowing that he was overwhelmingly blessed with God's everlasting love and grace. 
We were not told on what circumstances in which David received this son, but it is not difficult for us to imagine how it happened. When we looked at David's life, David accounted his blessing instead of complaining about his burden. For David, that God had done him uh, and what God has done to him and his friend, he realized that God was so good. He realized that God, how God had been faithful to him, how God graciously embraced him, and how undeserving he was on all these divine blessings he received. On the other word, for David, that God is always good. His good is everlasting. His good lasts forever. As I start to read this particular Psalms, I noticed some of the phrases that stood out for me, just as forgives, heals, redeems, satisfies, and renewed. But those are very good benefits from God who is our Lord and our Sustainer and our Redeemer. Our God is good. And that's what David wants us to remember today. Which will remind me one of the praise songs that I always want to sing that take out from our, our, our faith that we sing book. It's the song titled that God is good. He is so good to me. God cares for me. God loves me. He is so good. God is so good. God is so good. In Psalm 34, verse 8, is the same spirit that David reminds us that taste and see the Lord for who is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. What David was saying here that we must continue to praise God because whatever God does is, is good. His judgments are good. His grace is always good. God's blessings are satisfied and good. David continued to praise him and, and he said, all that is within me. On the other way to what David was saying, that I praise God with everything I have. I praise, I praise God with all the, the great attitude, my actions, my words, my work, my life, my children. And even for us today, that we must continue to offer God with our all in all circumstances in life, where, wherever we are, all the time we must continue to praise God for his everlasting love. My prayer that we may be able to take a time this month, take a moment, set aside a time where we can be able to honor him and acknowledge that no, God is not only good, but God is love. David reaffirmed that through the psalm, he said, because God is love and God is able to forgive all our sins. Because God is love, out of his everlasting love, he can able to restore our relationship. God able to give us a second chance. And all of this, that knowing that our lives are matter to God. All of these uh, that our attitude won't go to waste. They are not, they are not, will not be in vain because we are special to God. Therefore, for David, it is worth praising the Lord at all times because God is so good. He's so good to all of us. For the month of November, I already make a commitment to do a few things that will change my life. To live a faithful life. To be grateful in every circumstance. To remain positive and, and to keep praising God wherever I'll be. So 
I invite you to join me this month and share a grateful heart with others. Be grateful for what you have and who you are. And there is nothing that encourages praise like gratitude. Have a thankful heart and praise God for what God has done for you and your family. Be vocal, my friends. Tell someone to sing his praises all the time. Bless someone to with your own story, with your own life. Be the hope for others this month. But I also, I make a commitment to be consistent. What does that mean? That means every day I look for an opportunity how to give thanks and praise God, to share that gratitude with others. And I pray God that helped me to change my attitude in my life this month so I can able to live a life full of praisings and thanksgiving. I want to close out with one of the stories that changed the heart of John Wesley. When John Wesley was at uh, Oxford, uh, one night uh, he came across and, and met a custodian who seemingly unusually a happy patient. While John Wesley noticed that uh, these patients live in such an impoverished condition that he did not even have a bed to rest in the night, yet he was happy the whole time. John Wesley was curious and, and, and he asked him, what else do you thank God for? So he responded and said with a smile in his face and said with a spirit of meekness and replied with joy, I thank God that he has given me my life. He has given me a heart to love and to serve. John, John Wesley cherished those when and later in life, in 1791, when John Wesley laid on his deathbed at, age, at the age of 88, despite uh, his extreme weakness and tired, he began to, to sing the song, I will praise my maker while the I have breath. For all of us, <clears throat> We must continue to praise our Maker, to praise our Lord while we have time, while we have an opportunity to love, while we have an opportunity to thank others, while we have an opportunity to love God and to love others. This Wednesday, we'll go to the polls and vote for our next president. And that is the privilege to us to choose who we want to be our next leader. But I also remind us that we also have the freedom to choose, to live a life full of praise or not, to share a thankful heart or not, to share with others what God has done for us. It is your choice and it is my choice. But I pray that God's grace help us this month to live a thankful heart, a life full of praising and thanksgiving. Amen. Holy Communion is not only calling us to remember what Christ has done for us and for the world, but it also invited us to humble ourselves before God in thanksgiving with great uh, great attitude and praise god uh, for his everlasting love that we share now is the time that we celebrate love feast the last supper we celebrate god's praise that available to all of us uh, this morning as we open our heart to god in Thanksgiving. On the night in which he gave himself for us and for the world, 
He took the bread, broke it, gave thanks, and shared it with his disciples and said, Take, eat, and do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks, praised, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, this is a cup of new covenant that my blood shed for you and for many for forgiveness of sin. Drink from this cup as often as you and give praise and honor to God for his love and for his grace. And so in remembrance of these you mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Kính lạy Chúa là cha yêu quý chúng con. Chúng con cảm tạ ơn Chúa vì trước khi Ngài về với Đức Chúa Cha thì Ngài cũng để lại cho chúng con một tiệc thánh hầu để chúng con có thể nhớ đến Ngài trong bất cứ lúc nào. Hiện nay xin Chúa Ngài ở cùng tất cả ông bà anh chị em chúng con. Ngài thanh tẩy chúng con cho sạch sẽ để hầu chúng con có thể nhận được bánh và chén mà Ngài giao phó cho chúng con. Ngài cũng nhắc nhở chúng con đi làm công việc lớn của Ngài hầu để rao truyền danh Chúa với thế gian này. Cũng cảm tạ Ngài. Chúng con cầu nguyện trong danh của Chúa Giêsu Christ. Amen. At this time, we invite you to take the bread that you have. Please take the bread and eat the bread at this time. We now invite you at this time to take the wine, the blood of Christ. Please, at this time, take the wine, the blood of Christ. At home or at work, or even if you join us in our drive through communion this morning, we always give praise and honor to God because of that He gave His life on the cross for all of us and for the world. And now, as we leave this place, we go knowing that God is walking with us. We are not alone every step of our journey. We go with a thankful heart for what God has continued to do in our life today and tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Dear Father, you who dies on the cross for us, you are the only one we worship. We thank you for your forgiving and protecting to earth the life in peace. Even though the world now around us uh, no speak food and a hot winter and rain and plus everywhere, flood everywhere and a lot of people die. I pray for them. Please stay with them. The peaceful look like us. It's now we, from here, we thank you for you and every day we live in on a peaceful. Today, the Sunday, we come to worship you. We thank you for our programs. Wonderful today. A blessing for all the people that enjoy to worship you today. And even though people stay home, please you stay with us and with them.
Now we turn to worship. Our heart to worship you. And now we respectfully and present to you. May the Lord accept to sacrifice for you how wolf's future. We thank you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Kính lạy cha, lạy chúa chí thánh chúng con, đáng mời chúng con chỉ thờ vợ một mình ngài. Chúng con đang sống trong sự bình an, mặc dù chung quanh chúng con có những sự bất an. Trời gió, trời mưa và lũ lụt khắp nơi, nhưng mà chúng con ở đây cũng vẫn được sự bình an. Chúng con cầu nguyện cho tất cả anh bà, anh chị em chúng con, những người đến đây thờ phượng cũng như những người ở nhà. Cầu xin Chúa Ngài ở cùng họ trong sự bình an. Hôm nay chúng con đến đây thì chúng con thờ phượng Chúa. Cầu xin Chúa Ngài ở cùng chúng con. Và chúng con có một số tiền dâng lên cho Chúa để làm công việc Chúa trong nhà Ngài. Chúng con cảm tạ ơn Chúa. Và chúng con cầu nguyện trong danh của Chúa Giêsu Christ. Amen.
Let me remind all of us once again that this month our focus is to praise God and give thanks for his everlasting love. So as we leave this place, we look for an opportunity with a thankful heart, not only to praise God, but also offer our service to one another. So you may go in peace. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. <clears throat>